Disney, and other factors not available in all states. Sirius XM. This is Sirius XM Satellite Radio. Sirius, Sirius XM Satellite Radio. Satellite Radio. tsunami risk to the United States is still in effect. There is still a risk. They are still watching and waiting and hoping for the best for the next two to five hours. That's according to the U.S. National Oceano Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Two to five hours, we're told, uh, before we can say we are in the clear when it comes to uh, possible tsunamis right here in the U.S. resulting from that massive earthquake we saw off the coast of Japan over LA, right, Kelly? Good morning to you. You're with the California Emergency Management Agency. Good morning, Bill. Yeah, I'm actually in Sacramento. Uh, so okay. Part of the state. And what are you hearing? What are the indicators you're getting right now, Kelly, that tell you? <laughs> well, we're still sort of waiting and watching what's going to happen. We've gotten a lot of notice, luckily, because California is so far away from the epicenter. But we do know that we're going to see some significant impacts along California's coast. And, and the north part of the coast is Crescent City, where it always seems to get the biggest brunt of any sort of tsunami and like you said earlier you know in some cases we get these uh, advisories and and uh, notices and then we don't see anything other than maybe a small surge this one a little different because hawaii has experienced some waves over there all right thanks very much and you will go for us on california coast where i mean amazing how how we can control so many things in this world in this day and age from technology to whatever but you cannot stop mother nature right now we're seeing this horrific earthquake the largest earthquake ever in japan and then the ocean the ocean reacting now to the tsunami it's like a ticking time bomb you're sitting in hawaii alaska guam philippines now california wondering when is it going to hit and what is the impact going to be? Will there be any impact? It could go from zero to six feet. And what does that mean? Let's just look at the people in those houses that are being impacted by that tsunami wave, got the message, and were able to get out because that destroyed everything. So you have a few things happening. It hit at the afternoon there during right before rush hour, about 2.58, the 8.9 earthquake did. And then within two hours, you have rush hour. And everything stops, to understand, in Tokyo because it's reliant on high-speed rail, uh, yes, as well as mass transportation. A commuter city, many people uh, buy bikes or just walk out or find a hotel to stay in Tokyo, which was also rocked. We understand the surrounding area. All right, uh, Peter, we thank you very much. Okay, so they had the biggest earthquake in Japanese history, right? And then they had the tsunami. We've been showing you these images. And the, this is new video out of Japan. See that tsunami wave racing across the countryside at the bottom of the screen? That is just terrible. Well, now the tsunami wave is moving through the Pacific right now. It is set to hit the west coast of the United States later this morning. Hawaii could be impacted in about 20 minutes. We'll have a report from there in a moment. But first, let's go to L.A. Anita Vogel is there with the very latest. Anita, when are they suggesting that it will hit the Los Angeles area? Well, the State Department now issuing a travel alert following the earthquake in Japan. Let's go live to Washington to Peter Ducey, who has all the details. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Gretchen. That's right. The State Department is saying that all U.S. citizens need to avoid non-essential travel and tourism to Japan.